What is up, YouTube family? Thank you guys for tuning back into Wilburn Reactions. My name is Chad. If you are new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Also, notification buttons on at all times. I do release videos throughout the day. Today, we're headed back into Somali Hatchet. I know, I remember this group flirting with disaster. I remember. Um, this is going to be a live performance by them. Also, I don't think I've ever reacted to them, uh, anything live by them. The song we're going into is Gator Country. Before I dive in, first and foremost, I want to thank my new subscribers for coming over, supporting me, and my subscribers that's been here. If you are new, I do not like to talk while the song is playing. I do wait to the end to give you my full, detailed breakdown of the entire song. So wait for that. Let's dive in and see what else these guys bring to the table. Gator Country. <laughs> Searching for a pot of gold They can check the highway, baby Check on they can hold The outlaws down in Tampa Town Yes, a mighty fine place to be They got green grass and they got high tides And so look good to me There's a baby in the shed Who's coming by love and so Come on, Lord, better make it back home
Thank you. You know what? I should have known. I, I should have learned from my uh, previous reaction to Molly Hatchet what I was going to get. Um, we talked about this. This is that band where you're driving in the car and your speed, the speedometer just starts going up by itself, you know, because this song, their music is playing. Then you get a ticket. I forgot. I forgot. You know, I really did. And I, I should have remembered that coming into reacting to them again. And they did it again. This band, <laughs> you know what? This is, they take the original rock and roll sound. And, and I, 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 I got to take it to this. I think music back then, it was just about music, making great music, um, and just rocking out. There was no judging or, you know, this and that. You know, you know, music's definitely changed. We talked about the industry's changed. It's it's cultured. It's this and that. And if you do certain things, nobody's listening to you anymore. Or this and that. You know, I think back then it was just all about having a good time and making music. And that's what they did here. You know, uh, Molly Hatchet, they don't have the best lead singer up there doing his thing, but that he sounds great, you know. But the band, the band makes up for not having the greatest lead singer. He, they tear that stage up every time. And if even if it's a studio version, they tear the song up. I mean, did you hear this? And then this band, something about this band, they say, they, they, I think the thing is they say, if we're going to give a guitar solo, we're going to give a guitar solo. We're not going to give you a 30-second clip in the song and say, you know, there you go. You know, just 30 seconds, max, 45, real quick. No, they say, do what you need to do. If it takes three minutes, it takes three minutes. You shred. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, the level that he was playing at and shredding on that freaking guitar solo was out of this world. And he's just in there going and going and going. It's like the Energizer Bunny just keep going and going. We're going to shred some more. Giving people tickets. You know how many people probably got tickets listening to this stuff? Molly Hatchet probably has to be the band that leads in the most speeding tickets ever. Someone needs to talk to them about this. Because the level and speed that they're playing at. And then, too, uh, something that I call in this song that you have to, like, really catch is if you pay attention when he's solo, there's like some pauses, like breaks that the drummer has to catch also. And then he'll be, dun, 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 dun. and he'll go back in and it's like, like, what timing are you guys on that you know that that pause is coming? Like a quick break, you know, that that's insane. I caught like, it was like two or three that happened in, in, the, in that solo. And I was like, where did that come from? Like, it was one at the end, for sure. You can see that one. And then he, it was solo was in there. He caught that one, but there was two more or one or two. And I was like, man, that is nuts that he caught some breaks in that shredding. But, I mean, the performance speaks for itself. I mean, I, I'm glad I got to see them live finally um, and see what they can do. I knew it was going to be something. I forgot, but now that it's back, like I've reacted, I, I know what they're capable of in their studio version, so I knew the stage shouldn't be any different, if not better. And they, whatever they do in the studio, they definitely do on stage. I can tell you that. Excellent suggestion. I love the heck out of it. Thank you, guys. And I did see some Jesus hair up there. I told you. Something about that Jesus hair. I don't think I saw Afro, but I did see some Jesus hair. Something about that. But thank you guys for tuning back into my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.